What's going on everyone? So today guys, we are going to take a look at my Logitech steering wheel setup, G27. Uh, I will basically have it stationed or fixed to my computer desk. Now when I'm trying to actually use my computer for, you know, computer related stuff, either uh, work, home, you know, stuff that we typically do, which guys, it's cool to have the Logitech station on the computer desk. However, when it comes to time that I actually need to use the computer on game related, you know, need, I have to take my Logitech G27 off the desk. So it's a lot of connect, reconnect, connect, reconnect. So instead of doing that, you know, I, I you know, just thought to myself, I'm like, hmm, they actually make little, you know, uh, I guess you could call it stands for this. So right now, guys, I'm pretty much at this time where I, I want to be able to mount my Logitech G27 steering wheel uh, pedal and the uh, gear shifter to something that's more so stationary. So that way, in an event that I need to actually use my computer for something else, I can just basically take all the hardware and just move it elsewhere. Alright guys, as you can see, we got our foot pedals uh, with the clutch, brake, gas, steering wheel and our gear shifter all right first thing is some sort of bracket so this appears to be a lower frame bracket we can go ahead and remove this from the bag since our table is pretty much protected by a cloth. Oh, here we go. We got a box full of hardware. It sounds like it's hardware. Alright, so we got a set of instructions here. Um, let me see how many steps is there. Nine. Let's see what's in this box. start to just take stuff out and so let's go ahead and put some stuff up there last part looks like a full plate I'm gonna put this away so assume that like that. What I'm going to temporarily do is put these two, we're going to put them here. So that way this will apply pressure from the screw to somewhat, you know, get this to be stationary. Now we'll make our adjustments as, as we go. Um, Alright, so that was the first step. This is where your gear shifter is going to be going, right here. This is the arm that's going to hold your gear shifter. So we're gonna put it on the right side since I am right hand. So if you guys are left hand, you can pretty much take everything from the right side and move it on over to the left side. Get this bad boy installed this way. Use these to tighten it down. And again, we will make our final adjustments once we are actually sitting in the chair so that way I can truly define how things need to be. Alright guys, so our next step is to install this bracket at the bottom so that way it will keep this stationary. We'll install that bad boy there. We're gonna take our screws and pull it on through. Same for the other side. So guys, our next step is to install the manual gear shift plate. And this is basically where your gear shifter is going to 
melt. We're gonna take our screws and tighten it up. There we go. The washer one. Step is to install the steering wheel mount. So I'm gonna grab that off the floor and get it mounted. So this is the steering wheel mount. You want the screw, as you can see here, to be on the top. So all we do is slide it in. Take our screws and we apply pressure. Our next step is to actually install the plate for the steering wheel. So we're gonna locate where our screws need to be tightened down at. So they got screws which comes with the package where you can truly secure your steering wheel. So what I am going to do now is get this bad boy mounted. I want to be sure that these screw holes are forward. What I'm gonna do is get this on first. I was finally able to kind of get this plate to push on through. Uh, it's a super, super tight fit um, to slide it through. So I would highly recommend that you put the plate on first basically tap it down on the floor uh, to kind of push it on in. You can also use a rubber hammer if you have it. Then work your way on getting this installed. So what I'm going to do now is kind of step it up some. That's doable right here kind of push up a little bit more and now adjust it put our screws in to secure this plate so we're going to use our two screws and secure it underneath what we want to do with our steering wheel is we want to run our cables through. So for the cable for the pedal, uh, which is here, I'm gonna run this through the bottom. You wanna do all your cable management before you actually start putting your hardware on. Take our foot pedal, we're gonna just sit it down in the spot where we're going to mount it later. Now we're gonna take this cable uh, and since I have the steering wheel on my left, I'm going to basically cable this through and then put the steering wheel on top and feed all the other cables through from there. And the beautiful thing I love about this is that when we move this station, we do not have to take the cables apart. Such as if I have this at my desk, I got to take all the cables apart and reroute. Uh, Tired from doing that. Feed that through twice. There. Right. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a screw and feed it through first. Put our screws through these two red screws in order to secure it to the base. So now what I want to do is put my, my washer on. Try to, come on, this thing right there is in the way. All right, so we got one end on. Let's 
get the other end. All right. All right, so before I finish, I just wanna make sure my cables, make sure the cables aren't punctured. I'm not gonna screw this too tight. So now that's really nice and secure, so I don't have to worry about these brackets, which these little plastic things, they commonly break. All right guys, we got the steering wheel on. Now we're going to do our gear shifter. So now that we got the gear shifter on, we're gonna put the washers in and get ready to install this side. So there's two screws on the side. All right, I got one in. Now let me do the other side. It might be easier doing it with a screwdriver, it looks like. On. Now we don't have to worry about the gear shifter coming loose. We are down to the final step right before my camera is about to die. All we need to do is secure our foot pedals to the base and we'll be on our way. Again, you can use the screwdrivers that they provide. There's two screw holes, one here and one at the top, and you can basically mount that from there and it'll be good to go. It's the same thing that with the base, you got two screw holes on the base. So I got the foot pedal nice and secure to our bottom base and just wanted to show you underneath here one screw there for the foot pedal then there's another screw right there this out for you guys there this is the full setup This is on carpet, so if I put too much pressure, the stand may glide. It all depends. I don't typically push this stand or push the foot pedal, so that was a typical error. But I mean, if it does, you can always, you know, get some carpet pads so that way your stand won't move on carpet. There's like carpet pads that you will purchase for your couch so that way your couch doesn't move on a carpet or on the floor. So you can. Put that on your stand. Now let's go ahead and break on. Put it in the first gear. And let's take off. Put it in the first gear. Second gear. 